Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, in this lesson, we're going to be speaking about the verb that is mithal. We're going to be speaking about the verb that is al mithal. But before we understand that, we need to go over again the two different types of verbs. So there are two different types of verbs in the Arabic language. There are verbs that are sahih and there are verbs that are mu'atal. Verbs that are sahih are verbs that do not have any of the weak letters inside. Verbs that don't have any of the weak letters inside. So that is the alif and the wow and the ya. So any verb that does not have any of those three letters is called sahih. And there are subgroups for them. And then there's a verb that is mu'atal. The verb that is mu'atal is the opposite of the verb that is sahih, which is a verb that has a weak letter inside. So a wow or alif or ya. And that wow or alif or ya is either going to be in the first radical, the fa kanima, or the ayn kanima, the middle radical, or the third radical, the lam kanima, or there's going to be two of its radicals, two of its letters that are weak letters. And they're going to be called lafif. So here we're going to be speaking about the verb that is mithal, which is a subcategory of the verb that is ba'atel, which is a verb that has a wow or a ya as its fa kanima. So if the fa kanima is a weak letter, the verb is going to be called mithal, and that's what we're going to be covering right now. So, and mithal. The fa kanima is a weak letter. These types of verbs are two different types. There are two different types of verbs that are mithal. There's mithal al yai and there's mithal al wawi. Mithal al yai is if the fa kanima is a wa is a ya. If the fa kanima is a ya, like ya isa. Ya isa means he despaired. Ya isa, the fa kanima, the first radical, the first letter in the verb is a ya. So it's going to be called mithal, but more specifically, it's going to be called mithal al yai because the fa kanima has a ya specifically. If it has a wow, it's going to be called mithal al wawi. Mithal al wawi is that the fa kanima is a wow, like wasana, which means he or it reached. Wasana is a verb that is mithal because it has a weak letter and that weak letter is on the fa kanima, but it's more specifically mithal al wawi because that weak letter is a wow. So that is the distinction between mithal al yai and mithal al wawi. And this is important as we're going to cover in a second. So the mithal al wawi. The mithal al wawi specifically, it functions slightly different. Its function is slightly different or it functions slightly differently than the mithal al yai. So the mithal al wawi specifically, it loses its fa kalima in the mudara' if its ayn kalima has a kasra. The mithal al wawi loses its fa kalima, its first radical, the wa pretty much goes away, in the mudara' when the verbs in the mudara' form, if its ayn kalima has a kasra on it. So wazana and wa'ada are both mithal and wawi. Why? Because it has a weak letter and that weak letter is in the first radical, the fa kalima. And more specifically, it is a wow. So it's mithal and wawi. Okay. And in the mudara of wazana and wa'ada, which is yazinu and ya'idu, the ayn kalima, the middle radical, the second radical, which is a za here and a ayn here, it has a kathar on it. So according to this, the rule says that Wazana and Wa'ada are going to lose its fa'kina, it's going to lose its wow in the mudara, yazinu wa ya'idu, if its ayn kalima, zi'i, has a kasar on it. So here, Wazana becomes yazinu, and Wa'ada becomes ya'idu. Originally, it should have been yawzinu and yaw'idu. But because this is a mithal al wawi and it has a kasra on the ayn kalima in the mudara. It loses its wow. The wow goes away and we just add the ya like in yadhhabu. That ya is being added here, but the first radical, the wow, is being dropped. So this is the rule. So pretty much sometimes you're going to find certain verbs on mithal al wawi which will lose its wow. It will lose its wow in the mudara. Wazana becomes yazinu, wa'ada becomes becomes ya'idu and not yawzinu or yaw'idu. So to show you how this looks like, here we have two verbs, wasuma and wasana. Wasuma means he is handsome or he became handsome. Wasana means he or it reached. Both of these are mithal and wawi. They have a weak letter, the weak letter is in the fa kenma and it's a wow, right? But here, wasana becomes yasinu. So the mudara has a kasra here in the ayin kalima. And here, wasuma becomes yawsumu. So the ayn kalima, which is the scene here, has a dhamma on it. So that's why here the wa goes away. Wasala becomes yasilu, not yawsilu. But here the wa stays. Wasuma becomes yawsumu. It doesn't go away. Why? Because here the ayn kalima has a dhamma, but here the ayn kalima has a kasara. And according to the rule, it will lose its fa kalima and the wadada if its ayn kalima has a kasara. Here it does not have a kasara, so it stays. So, wasana 
هو بكمز يصل تصل يسناني تصلاني يصلون يصلنا so he reached uh, or he he's reaching she's reaching they two are reaching masculine they two are reaching feminine and the list goes on but here the wow says يوسمو توسمو يوسماني توسماني يوسمونا يوسمنا and so on and so forth so just to make you understand here how the wow is being dropped here تصلو تصلينا تصلاني تصلاني but here it's staying according to the rule that we just covered so sometimes the method of wow will look a bit strange because it's first wow or the wow at the beginning will be dropped and then we'll thought out and this is how it looks like so that's the mithal al wawi for the mithal al yai the rule we just covered we just covered is not applied so the mithal al yai will never use its its ya at the beginning the mithal al yai will never lose its ya at the beginning in terms of how it looks like when it's conjugated in the mudara it looks like this ana is Asu, nahnu is asu. so I'm despairing, we are despairing. Uh, here it's te asu, so you're despairing, te asina, you feminine, te asani, te asani, te asuna, te asna, and it goes on, ye asu, te asu, and so on and so forth. So that in a very brief sense is the mithal al wawi and mithal al yai. So the mithal verb is a verb that it's fat can is a weak letter. And it's fa kalima can either be a ya, a ya, or a wow. Never an alif, because the alif is a letter that can never begin a sentence or begin a word. So the mithal can either be mithal al yai, ya isu, or mithal al wawi, wasala. And the mithal al wawi will sometimes lose its fa kalima, it will sometimes lose its wow in the mudara, like yasilu, tasilu, and the list goes on. And we just covered that. I hope this is clear.